Wait, are you seriously still browsing the web with your mouse, click by click? That's so like 2024. The future is an AI agent that browses and engages with web pages on your behalf. Here's a template built with Mastra that shows what a web assistant agent could look like. I'll ask the agent to retrieve the top Hacker News submission, load the post, and then summarize the key points. Notice how I'm using natural language and I'm not even giving it a URL. The agent first navigates the Hacker News. Next, it extracts the top link, again, using natural language. No XPath here, thank you very much. Now it's navigating to that top link and extracting the content to create the three point summary. It's always important to test your agent. So let's double check this post is indeed the top one. Yeah, it's totally up to date. <laughs> Can you imagine having to do that manually with your mouse? I'm just teasing. This agent won't replace your web browser. Not yet anyway, but it is very powerful. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Essentially, we're equipping the agent with a suite of tools that know how to interact with the web. For example, the web extract tool, which can read a web page and extract its contents using natural language. The agent chooses the best tool from this suite to start the job. Then, like you saw, it will keep calling tools in a sort of loop depending on the next step and until it's satisfied the job is done. This is a quintessential example of an agent, and it's really cool. Under the hood, these tools utilize an emerging product called Stagehand. This is a service by BrowserBase that gives you functions allowing you to do with code more or less anything a web browser can do. If I play back the browser session for the Hacker News prompt I demonstrated, you can see how behind the scenes, the agent is controlling a real browser with state. This is sophisticated because the agent can read pages even if they require JavaScript to render. It's also because we're controlling a stateful browser that the web act tool can interact with pages, for example, by clicking a button or typing into an input. I haven't demonstrated that here, but why don't you give it a go yourself? I highly encourage you to download this template. And when I say play with it, I really do mean play with it. It's delightful to try different things and see what the agent can do. Because BrowserBase is effectively controlling a real web browser, just like the one you're using now, the agent can pretty much do anything, provided you give it a good enough prompt and it can complete the task within the maximum steps you've defined. Maybe this won't replace your web browser today, I'll grant you that, but you certainly want to adopt these tools for any agent that will benefit from accessing the web dynamically and fully.